Hi there, I'm Chen Chin, and today I'm going to talk to you about Singapore Robo Cup 2021. First off, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Chen Chin, and I'm from Singapore. My team name is BHSSCR5, and I have been in Robo Cup since that one, which is 2 years. So now, I'm going to talk to you about the summary of the prelim challenge. I'm in Coast Space Rescue U19, and the problems I found while doing the challenge was that there was no border which means my robot was able to fall off the map and at the same time there are traps and we will have to avoid them. Let me show you an image of a map that is before the prelim challenge map to show you what I was talking about. As you can see there are no walls and the yellow with purple blue colored squares are the traps and we will have to avoid them while trying not to fall off the map as falling off the map leads to penalty forcing the robots to wait for a while before able to continue to move. This wastes so much time, as every second counts. Hence, I used the XY coordinate and color sensors, so my robot would not fall off the map, and whenever it sends yellow color, which is outside of the trap, it would turn its way out. Now I'm going to talk to you about the challenge mission. The robot will have to collect the cyan, black, and red color gems and deposit them into the orange box called the bank. However, at the same time, we will have to try not to fall off the map nor enter the traps. This main task was able to split into detecting the colors of the gems, detecting the colors of the bank, detecting the colors of the outside of the traps, and when it reaches certain coordinates, which is the border, it will turn its way out and not fall off the map. After all the talks about the tasks and the challenge itself, let me talk about the AI algorithm. So it reads from the top to the bottom to whatever you program at the top, it will run first and complete it first. Here's an image of my program. As you can see, bank1 hashtag3 is at the top, while avoid wall front is at the bottom. So bank1 hashtag3 would run first before avoid wall front. The tool I use here for most of my, of my program is XY coordinate. And oh, if you are confused about what I was talking about, let me show you a simple diagram on what I meant in using the XY coordinate. As you can see, it will start and continue this program when it dis detect when it's full. And after that, it will detect the area it is in before moving to the designated area I've programmed it to go to. Sometimes, there are some obstacles on the way there. Hence, if it doesn't reach its designated area, it will rerun and try to reach its designated area. Here, let me show you a small clip on how it works when it's full. Now comes the debugging. If I meet a problem, I will immediately check the coordinates first, as it is quite easy to check. After that, I will check the color I set for it to detect. I will check if the colors were correct. However, if none of them works, I will use the print function to see where it goes wrong. The conclusion from this is that the robot was able to immediately deposit itself into the bank when it's full allowing itself to buy more time to roam around the map and collect more gems. This will not waste time in terms of finding the jet, uh, depositing itself into the bank or falling off the map. I would like to improve my strategy by whenever the robot is in a certain area, I would use extra coordinates to create a so-called wall in the area, forcing the robots to collect most or all the gems in the area to minimize the time usage to find and collect the gems. Before I end off, let me talk about my learning experience. I've learned how to program the robot well with the usage of the XY coordinates and think of ways to solve the problems I face without the need to keep using the XY coordinates. 
this competition I learn new ways to program to do the same thing from my friends as I will talk with them and see how they solve a certain problem. Finally, the most important point I wish to share to other code space game player is to have fun and enjoy yourself. And at the same time, do share your idea of programming a certain thing with your friends as they might have another idea that might be easier and yet does the same thing, allowing you to see from another point of view when solving the problem. Thank you.